Hi there, my name is Chris and welcome back to my sewing channel called Sew Notes. Alright, so today is Friday, so that means it's Friday Sew. So, so I want to say thank you to Jen from Today and Jen Sewing Room for starting such a wonderful hashtag. I thoroughly enjoy my time on this hashtag. I hope that you do too. And she's just created such a wonderful community. And yeah, it's one of my favorite days of the week. Not only because it's Friday, but because of Friday Sew. So, so life, let's just talk quickly about life. I am slowly adjusting to life. I didn't have a Friday sews last week because yeah, I'm still trying to adjust my sewing and crafting has slowed down a bit, but I'm trying to um, just find ways that I could still do what I love because this is part of who I am and it's just something I need to incorporate almost daily uh, just so that I could be, um, just so that I could do the best that I can. All right, so so what I've been working on this week in sewing and crafting now, aside from life, is I've been working on the Sh Augustina bag by Shambhala Patterns, and that is with uh, Sew April and Granny Sewing Room, so April and Sherry. Um, it's a lot of fun. Like I'm, It's slow process. I feel like I'm holding them back because I'm just working on it so slow, but they rest assured me that I'm not holding them back. Uh, we have a little group chat going on, so we talk We talk daily, not necessarily so daily, but we talk daily. And here's just a sneak peek of what I have so far. Here's the flap with the magnets. And then this is part of the front flap. And that attaches there. So one thing I just want to say is... Shamb Shambhala Patterns is new to me. This is my first time working with them. I'm not new to making bags, but I'm not an expert. But I've been doing it for a couple of years. And I just want to say that the techniques that they use in this pattern are new to me. And it makes me really question if I'm doing things right or wrong. Uh, for example, this flap. Like I'm used to sewing things wrong sides together and then flip it. So this flap is actually sewn with you folding this edge under. So you're folding, so you just have this piece alone and you're folding it under and then you're, then you're butting it up to here and top stitching. And right, that's like one of the first steps. And right away I'm like, April Sherry, am I doing this right? So this pattern is, 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 is really testing me or it's, it's really, I, I don't have the words for it. It's, it's using techniques that I'm not used to. And so I'm questioning my ability, maybe? That might be it. So the next step I'm working on is the zipper. And I talked to Sherry and Avril about this yesterday. But the, the back zipper part now has you fold the vinyl over and glue it. And I was so, I'm just going with the flow. So far it's looking so good. So far it's looking good. So I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah, it's just really testing out my abilities or, or just following directions. So it's February now, so that means it's another time for a new raglan pattern. And so luckily I believe it was Ricky that messaged me and she told me that five out of four patterns gave a discount code and it was for a free pattern which it couldn't have come at a better time so I got the Nancy Raglan pattern for free so that is going to be my Raglan pattern for the month of February so I will work on that and towards the end of February I will have my pattern review of the Nancy Raglan so that's another thing and one more thing that I worked on this week was a bit of crafting I seen these acrylic discs online and they are milestone discs and they I decided to buy some discs and try it out it's not exactly the way I envisioned it but that is okay so the ones that I seen online were actually this the blue part was actually painted on I just used vinyl I just used vinyl and my Cricut so but the font is 
I did the fonts myself, so everything is I've done myself. Um, so that's what I was working on. My sister's into crafting now, so she's coming over and she's going to do some crafting with me too, so that's fun. And then for the Friday Souls Facebook group, Jen puts out questions for uh, what we could answer on the Friday. So this Friday, the question is, what is your favorite color to sew? I, I don't have a favorite color to sew. I just have a favorite color in general, which is like pink and fuchsia. Those are like, that's my color. Um, now with this whole color, um, sew your colors like that suit your, your hair and eye color. Um, I don't know if fuchsia, I believe fuchsia's on it. Um, I really have to dive deeper into that. Uh, but in the past, I wouldn't say it was my favorite color to sew, but my favorite was to sew florals. And I'm slowly getting away from that. I might be speaking too early, but I'm slowly getting away from the florals and trying to pick out more uh, solid colors so that I could mix and match more uh, I, you tend to be limited with florals, with the colors that you could sew. So this year I'm going to be trying to sew more of my colors. Uh, but yeah, fuchsia is one of my favorite colors. And so as long as it's in the colors that suit me, you might see a lot of fuchsia in the future. I don't know. I can't say. Um, but that is all that I have for this week of Friday Sews. I will be, this weekend I will be finishing up the Shambhala bag with April and Sherry. Hoping to share that next week with you. Hoping to get started on that Nancy Raglan. And yeah, just enjoying life. So that's, that's all that I have for you this week. I hope that you had a great week. I hope that you're staying warm. Where I am, it's getting really, really cold. So no leaving the house, stay home. I don't like paying for shipping, but I've slowly come to terms with paying for shipping uh, with my new life circumstances and the cold. Paying for shipping is the way to go. So that's all I'm going to say. Uh, that's all I have for you this week. All right. So thank you again and we'll see you later.